my parents made a solemn promise before God and the Church to raise me in the practice of the faith. All parents do that when their son or daughter is baptized. And through fidelity to that promise, parents give glory to God. Fulfilling that promise means deciding early on what the family's priorities are to be. And that decision is guided by the teaching of Jesus. Seek first the kingdom. Love God first of all and above all. For the Catholic family, this means that Sunday Mass, daily prayer, and participation in the sacraments come before all else. I worry today about the manifold pressures on families, pulling them in a multitude of directions, such that the worship of God on Sunday gets replaced by something else. I expect my upbringing was much like that of many who are gathered here in the Basilica this evening. My parents' idea of negotiating with the children about going to Mass was, dear, you're going. And that included vacation time. I remember being on road trips, and the first questions we would ask whenever we arrived anywhere was, well, where's the church and what time is Mass? Everything else we wanted to do was planned around that. Now, please don't get me wrong, I'm not proposing my family as some kind of a perfect model. We had struggles like all families do, and the world in which we live today is far different than the one that I knew growing up. What I am highlighting from my experience are principles that transcend time and must find application in every age. God is first. His commandments, including honoring the Sabbath, are to be obeyed. He is truly present in the Eucharist and therefore deserving of both our love and our reverence. By giving God pride of place on its list of priorities, the family gives glory to God.